Now, in the previous lecture, we understand how we can create a class with object. Now, let's take a look at a Python class attribute and instance. So, let's first understand how to create Python class attribute. Class attributes is nothing but a simple variable that can hold a value. Class attribute can only be accessible with the class objects. Class has their own namespace or scope. We'll talk about that later in this course. Now, let's take a look at how class attribute are created. So, I'm going to start with the class keyword and then specify the name for this class. So, I'm going to specify name to this class person. And then I'm going to specify colon here to specify scope. And in the block of this class, I'm going to create class attribute. You need to specify label for your attribute. So, here I'm going to say name is equal to and here I'm going to say John. So, now you can notice the class attribute is just like a variable. So, to create a class attribute, you just need to specify label for it and then specify a value to it. Here I'm going to create a method. So here I'm going to start with a define keyword and then specify name for this method. So I'm going to specify name show and specify parenthesis. In this parenthesis, I'm going to have self as a default parameter. We we'll talk about that in the previous lecture. Now in this define method, I'm going to just print and here I'm going to just say hello I am and then in the curly braces, I'm going to just connect format function and here I'm going to say self dot name. Now you can notice I'm using this self keyword to access the class attribute. As I said earlier, using the self keyword, you can access class method or attributes of the class. So using this self keyword, I'm going to just access the class attribute. What if I remove this self keyword from here? If I remove it, you can notice you're going to get undefined error message because we don't have this name variable inside this method. This method has their own scope. So, I'm going to just specify here self.name to access this class attribute. So, as I said, to create an object, you need to first specify name for your object. I'm going to say here obj is equal to and then you need to call a class name. So, you need to just call the exact class name here with parenthesis. You have the instance of your class. So, you can access attribute and method using this object. So, down here, I'm going to call obj.show. When I execute this statement, I'm going to have a result, hello, I'm John. Now what I want, I want to change the value of this class attribute name. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to simply say here, object, I'm going to call the instance of the class, then specify dot and call name. Then I'm going to specify equal to sign and here I'm going to say daily. Just after that, I'm going to just say obj.show. When I execute this file, you can notice, I'm going to have daily as a result. So now using this instance of the class, I can access this class attribute. So as you can see, how you can create class attribute in the class. And you also understand how to call it using instance of the class. Now let's take a look at how to create Python class instance. So in the previous lecture, we understand how to create it. I'm going to just simply create here a method. So I'm going to start with the define keyword. And here I'm going to say set name. And in the parenthesis, I'm going to specify parameter name. Then specify block of this method. And here I'm going to say self.name is equal to name, just like this. And I'm going to just remove this statement right from here. So now you can notice I have the class instance. We already learned that in the previous lecture. So this is what we call a class instance. So you can access this class instance using instance of the object as well. So when I execute this file, I'm going to get an error message because I did not specify any value to this class instance. In Python, whenever you call any variable, you need to specify some value to it. You need to specify some default value to that variable so the Python can hold something in it. So I'm going to just specify some default value here to this variable. So just sort of this object right here, I'm going to call obj.setName. And here I'm going to pass John. When I execute this statement, you can notice I'm going to have the result something like this. Here I'm going to first get hello I am John and then I'm going to get hello I am daily. The only difference between class attribute and class instance is with the self keyword. We create class instance with self keyword and we create class attribute just like we create a variable in Python. There are many other differences as well between class attribute. We'll take a look at all that in the future lectures. But just for now, keep in mind to create a class instance, you can use self keyword and to create a class attribute, you can just simply add a variable name here with the value, just like you create a variable in Python. Class instance created in the method with self keyword and class attribute created just like a variable outside of the method. 
so in this class you can create class attribute just like this so you can create here value is equal to zero so this is what we call a class attribute and this is the class instance so i hope you understand the difference between class attribute and class instance